Hey guys, it's Steph. I'm super excited to be doing today's video. This has been requested for a long, long time. So today I drove my way to Cheesecake Factory and I did a pickup order and I got so much good stuff. Like, they have the best mac and cheese bites in the world and I can't wait for those. So, yeah, let's get into it with everything I got. We're gonna hop right into this video. I'm starving. I got the pumpkin cheesecake too, which is only available for the month of September, which is weird because you would think it would be available for like October too, but nope, only September, but I got it. I got two slices. <laughs> and yeah, so what I got today was their factory nachos. Ooh, I've never had these. So these are tortilla chips covered with cheese, guac, red chili sauce, sour cream, jalapenos, green onions, and salsa. Sounds so good. My mouth is like drooling. <laughs> and then I got the fried mac and cheese bites and that is served with creamy marinara sauce. And then I got their spicy crispy chicken sandwich and I got chipotle mayo on top. It's either that or buffalo sauce. And I got extra chipotle mayo too with the side of ketchup and fries. <laughs> with the side of fries and ketchup. And then I just got the cheesecake. So I'm so excited. I wanna sit back and like relax. And let's open everything up. Okay, so here are the mac and cheese bites. They're so good. I think the best I've ever had are from here. Mmm, these look amazing. So uh, here is what these look like. They are huge, aren't they? They're so big. They smell really good too. And look how big these nachos are. Holy cow. <gasps> okay, let's set these are right there. This is the sandwich. Let me open this up real quick. Holy macaroni. This is the biggest chicken <gasps> I have seen. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> look how big this chicken sandwich is. <laughs> Okay, I wanna take a quick bite of this real quick and then I'm going to eat the appetizers. <laughs> Holy cow. That is massive. Let's rip open one of these mac and cheese balls. Ooh, look at that. Cheesy. We're gonna dip it in their marinara, of course. Let's try this out. Mm -mm. I love their sauce. I kind of wanted pasta. But I don't know. I was kind of in the mood for a chicken sandwich. I love this background. It's like all fall vibes. And I know you guys have been asking where my food table is. I know. I have one right on my steering wheel, but you can't see it. The big one that my dad made me, that was specifically for my last car. It doesn't fit in this new car, so I need to like get a new one. Like, I need to figure something out. <laughs> Let's have another mac and cheese bowl. I remember Trisha Paytas liking these and I think that's why I got these one time. Like they are so cheesy. You see all that cheese? Heaven. Mm. 
So before we continue eating our mac and cheese bites, I know you guys always ask me where my jewelry is from. So today I'm wearing this cute heart locket. This is from Honey Lock. Their Instagram is honeylock.co. I'll put the picture right there. But it is so cute. You can put pictures of your loved ones in here, animals. It's a great gift to buy like your boyfriend or girlfriend. And it opens up and it has little pictures in it. I'll show you guys a close up of mine. So that is my dog, Cookie. I put her in there because I love her so much. <laughs> and I do have a coupon code that you guys can use as well. It is just Steph Pappas 10 to get 10% off. So make sure you guys check them out and use my coupon code but yeah I love it this is my first locket I've ever had before and it's so cute because like no one knows what's inside of it and like you just open it and there's just like the smallest little pictures let's have another mac and cheese bowl I'm already almost out of like marinara sauce when you get these as an appetizer say it with like four people only one ball per person <laughs> Remember the last time I was with my family? We were literally gonna order a second batch because like they were gone in a second. So yummy. The food is not the warmest, which is kind of sad. And I was like waiting in my car for like 20 minutes too for them to like come out. But let's try these nachos. So excited about these. I am the biggest fan of nacho platters at restaurants. Okay, so we got the sour cream in here, we got the guac in here, and the salsa. I'm actually gonna put these to the side. I don't I don't think I wanna put all of them on the nachos. I am gonna dump the sour cream on here though because I love sour cream. Ooh, yes, it's nice and runny. So we can spread it around. Ooh, these jalapenos smell really spicy. Let's give it a try. Here, you want a bite first? You like it? Okay, let me try. Ooh, look at these jalapenos. <gasps> Shoot, I don't even have that much water. I hope this isn't an issue. I hope they're not too spicy. Just right. So yummy. So guys, I've been shopping all day. It's a very cloudy day today. It's now almost six o'clock. If you watched my vlog from the other day, you would know that I got this new ring and I'm obsessed with it, but I can't get it off. Like, I don't know if it's because like my fingers are a little puffy right now from being out and about and like being hot, but like I can get my other rings off and I can't get that one off, so I'm a little nervous. The worker told me like, oh, it's fine. Like. It's okay, but I'm like, is it though? And now that I already walked out with it, am I allowed to go back in there and swap it? And they didn't have a little, like I needed like a half size bigger maybe, but they didn't have it in the store so I couldn't like try it on. I guess I could have tried on like a different one. That would have made more sense. No, boy. Looks like Swiss cheese on there with the hole. I should have just tried on a different ring that was kind of similar in the six and a half. Well, shoot. I'll try later, like once I'm like relaxed after my shower. Well, I'll, I'll be hot after my shower. I don't know. I hope I can get it off. I mean, it's not like squeezing my finger too tight right now that it's like uncomfortable. Like I can't feel it and it doesn't look like it doesn't fit, which I never do take my rings off. So maybe I am okay. <laughs> Cause this one, it's just a seven. 
The other one's a six. But also my left hand, which is smaller. And this ring fell off one night and I threw it away. And I had to search through the trash cans. And I found it, thank God. I was like so scared and I lost it. I was like going through my pictures from the night before to see like if I was wearing it and what time I lost it at. And it fell off like surprisingly. So this one's a little loose. These are pretty good. I like them. I love nachos. I feel like they could be cheesier. They probably are if you eat them inside the restaurant. I wish I could mukbang in restaurants. It's like too loud and too many people stare at you. Okay. I have done it. I have done it inside of Five Guys once with my dad. That's over on his channel. On my channel, I don't know if I've ever done it inside of a restaurant. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I have not. Okay, we got our sandwich and we got our french fries. That are freezing cold. What the heck? That's so disappointing. See, this is why I never do like most of my mukbangs are like fast food because fast food you're meant to get it through the drive-thru and it's so hot and ready to eat. Restaurant, even when you pick it up right when it's ready, I feel like it doesn't taste the same. It tastes way better when you just eat it inside of a restaurant. So that's why I'm always like kind of disappointed when I do like fast, not fast food, like restaurant, even though restaurant food is so much better than fast food, but, oh. The Chipotle sauce, good. I don't remember this being this big. <laughs> It's like as big as a Whopper. No, bigger than a Whopper. Whoppers are huge though too. <laughs> Guys, you know how you see all those like things on TikTok? Where it's like what you can get for $7 in Mexico or Bali or is that how you pronounce it? Bali. Um, all those places, like you see like those inclusive deals and it's like a super cheap price. Like I saw this one for New Mexico and it was um, fly here and your friend gets it free or something. Like, like refund your plane ticket and then like every day you stay in a hotel, you get it back or something like that so then say you say seven days then you get seven days free and I want to go so bad <laughs> but I don't know if we can travel yet but I got a passport like three years ago and I still haven't used it so I'm gonna put these in the air fryer later This is good though. Yeah, I got a passport. Um, to go to Greece, but then we never went. And, um, yeah. I really would like to go to the country. It's so funny because my relatives in Greece, my dad was born in Greece. Um, he moved here when he was young though and he hasn't been back since he was like 20 or so. I think earlier than that, he hasn't gone back. Um, but um, I have like, you know, third cousins and second cousins and all that that I have, don't know at all. And they will DM me on Instagram and say like, hey, I'm your cousin, why don't you follow me? And I'm like, dad, this happens all the time. And I'm like, dad, is this my cousin or are they just saying that? 
And he's like, no, yeah, and they're your cousin. And I'm like, okay. Because, like, I don't know who these people are. Like, they're just telling me they're my cousin. And usually I could tell by, like, the last name because it's, like, a long Greek last name. But I find that so funny. So I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know you, though. Like, a third, fourth, fifth cousin, I kind of don't really count that as your cousin. I don't, like, your cousins are, like, your first cousins. Like, you see on Christmas and Thanksgiving. All the other people, you kind of just, like, are related a little bit. But, like, I don't know. I guess everyone's family is different. I only see my first cousins. And that's it. Um... Yeah, I don't even know where my other cousins are. I mean, some Greece. Um, other than that, like my mom's side, no idea. I think Arizona. But like, I've never met any of them before. And if I was, I was like two. So, oh. I saw this thing. It was so funny. <laughs> I need water. A lottery ticket winner wore a mask while he like scratched off his ticket or whatever. Claimed his prize. He wore a, like a scream mask, so no rel. He said so no relatives could like see and like take his money because you know that'll happen. They'll all come in and be like, oh. I need money, please, please, like, share me your lottery ticket. It's like, hey, you, you could have went out and bought lottery tickets all the time, too, and that could have been you. And maybe it will be one day. Manifest it. I feel like I'm going to win the lottery one day. I just have, like, a good feeling about it. I don't know. That guy looks like Justin Bieber a little bit. Hey. Hmm. This salmon is huge. I need subtitles. Why does YouTube not do that? Like for everyone's video, I don't know if you have to like manually do it yourself. But like Netflix has all the subtitles and stuff. I feel like I need subtitles sometimes. I sometimes mumble and don't talk the most clear. And I don't even realize it until I'm watching myself editing and I'm like, Stephanie, can you talk a little bit more clear? <laughs> Getting kind of full. And I need more water. I hate eating without water. And it's kind of spicy. <laughs> this is so big. Guys, please. Go comment on the report of the week's YouTube, Instagram. Tell him I want to collab with him. I want to collab with him so bad. I don't know if he does collabs. I don't think he has any collabs on his channel. But I would like to collab with him. I've tried to DM him. And he doesn't answer. But I, I want him to answer. <laughs> Oh, this lettuce and tomato was supposed to go on the burger. Oh my, why is there a salad? A dry salad. I don't know why it lets me only film like 23 minutes at a time. So yeah, I'm in Cleveland right now. Who else lives in Cleveland? I do not, but I mean, I live pretty close. And yeah, pretty cool, right? Who lives here? Has anyone gone to, oh, the Machine Gun Kelly story shoot. I still have to explain that. Now this video is like over with though. So I feel like I should wait. Now that I'm talking about Cleveland, I'm like, oh yeah, I met Machine Gun Kelly at his new coffee shop in Cleveland. And he was awesome. But I'm about done. And I don't want to hit too bad at traffic. Mm, actually, I don't really care. It's whatever. <gasps> I didn't even eat the bread. 
Oh my goodness gracious. You get so much food at Cheesecake Factory. I did order two appetizers, but still, like, they gave me all this bread. I'm gonna bring it home for my family, because I'm pretty full. They gave me so much butter, too. And it's all individually wrapped in foil. That's so cute. Okay, we'll take one more bite. Okay, I promise, guys, the next mukbang, I will explain the story. Because I was getting lots of questions on Instagram and all that. I will explain it soon, I promise. Yeah. Crispy. Okay. <gasps> I have the cheesecake. Oh my god, wait, we're not done yet. I need to at least take a few bites of the cheesecake. I do this every time I come to this restaurant. I always get cheesecake. I usually just like the original or like maybe the Reese's. I don't know. I actually I like the original, honestly. The others are crazy with so many toppings. And that's kind of a lot for me. I'm not a huge sweets person. I like food. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm gonna dump all these. So let me at least take some bites. Wow, gorgeous. Fuck. Oh my god. Mm, I'm so excited. And tomorrow is the last day they have them. By the time you guys are watching this video, though, I'm sorry, it's gone. You're gonna have to wait till next year. It kind of tastes like pumpkin pie, though, but, like, really good pumpkin pie. But yeah, oopsie, sorry. I'm, like, advertising it when it's gone. That was mean of me. How do I close this stuff? Okay, guys, here is the gorgeous masterpiece. Should this be my thumbnail? I don't know, I feel like maybe the food's more exciting. There's a white hair on here. I'm gonna hope it's my sweater. It's for sure my sweater, right? Cause like, this is like a white hair. All right, first bite going in. the best stuff ever. And there's whipped cream too. So fluffy. Oh my god, this is so good. This is definitely the best one they have for sure. I don't know why they don't have it longer. I would think it would be popular, but maybe is it not? Or they wanna keep it like, more popular by keeping it like limited edition like that for only a month. Like if they had this all year round, I would get it all year round for sure. But yeah, only one month? Like, this could go all the way until Thanksgiving, for sure. This is so good. I want to save some for later when I watch TV. <laughs> I always like eating snacks when I watch TV. Because I know once I go home and, you know, do everything I need to do, I'm going to get hungry again. And this is a good nighttime snack. Okay. And this is it. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.